So uh, for Penang, based on the chart of 2015, we look at the Bazi and as well as the Feng Shui chart. Now, in terms of Bazi generally throughout the, uh, the world, this, the, the Bazi for the entire year is not so con this conducive in terms of market conditions and economic conditions. Um, generally, um, for properties and real estate, it's more of a buyer's market. So if you are a buyer, you're an investor, you probably get a lot of good items and good deals this year. Now, we also need to look at this, yeah, uh, it cannot be the same for the entire country. But Penang is actually located in the northern part of um, Malaysia. And since north, there's a wealth star, star number eight. So generally, this part of the country does very well. So uh, you're actually in a position where, um, you know, market condition-wise, you're in the right place at the right time. So if you can, within your means, and it's a year that you decide that you want to make some investments, it's a pretty good choice if you're here in Penang. Many people are asking about which animal signs are particularly good for relationships. Now, first of all, um, animal signs are generic. So uh, in my style of doing astrology readings, I always recommend people to plot out their full charts first. So to do that, you go onto my website, joeyup.com slash bzchart, and you print out a chart and you see you have a year, month, day, and hour animal sign. Now, if your, uh, your day animal sign is any of the following three, relationship opportunities will be very good. First is the tiger, then the monkey, then the rat. These three, tiger, monkey and rat, are particularly beneficial when it comes to relationship opportunities. good there are a couple of do's and don'ts that you can utilize to benefit um, the good fortune for the year first of all let's talk about the don'ts do not activate or trigger or disturb the chi in the west area of um, your property the west area this year has the negative five yellow and three killing stars at the same time now um, if you would avoid activating or using this area a little bit more um, it, you generally will become better now of course many people ask me hey you know feng shui yeah if you don't believe in it, it doesn't affect you if you believe in it it affects you now here's how you test it you know people always ask about hey you know it, how do you prove feng shui right? here's how you test it we know that west is a negative area why don't you try and use it and see what happens you will find that hey you know the lot of obstacles and problems then you know that this is not a good area so the do's, go to the area that is positive, make your decisions from there, do your planning, make your phone calls, important uh, meetings in the north area of the home. North is actually a good beneficial uh, sector of the home, you can try and utilize that to maximize the chi for yourself. Feng Shui, well, of course, this is a very easy thing to do. First of all, um, there are two approaches. Yeah? One is to study yourself, and the other one is to actually get some guidance and training officially from it, just like any other subject. Um, you can always read books on it. There are now many good books out there. Start by reading some books and get a basic understanding of how Feng Shui works. And of course, if you can find the time and allocate some of the resources to actually pursue the study, um, study with any of, of the teachers and we have programs for it. You can study it even from the comfort of your own home. You have a home study program. You watch it, learn the, the, the steps in Feng Shui and apply it in your whole, own home to see you know, how it can transform your life. You see, Feng Shui is like this. It's not about something that uh, you need to believe in to make it work. Feng Shui is all about environmental science and if you understand your environment, you can make use of it to change or transform your life for the better. of uh, economic wise is a little bit more challenging than 2014 just based on the chart alone because the strength of the uh, the chart itself is slightly weaker so generally there are a lot of challenges and so um, again you know don't take this as a negative thing um, always look at individual because a perspective where we see you know something has been challenging it does not mean individually you cannot benefit a lot of big businesses and uh, wealthy individuals created their empire, started their empire during challenging times. So I would say that, you know, it's a year, yes, it's challenging, but there's a lot of opportunities.